Welcome to ORU Media Day. We are joined now by redshirt junior Mikey Mangum, who is one of the guys battling for this starting point guard role. Mikey, before we get to basketball, tell us about your mission trip this summer. Okay, I went to uh, Brazil on a basketball mission trip. It's the second uh, consecutive summer that I've done that trip. Um, it was honestly a great experience, uh, something I'd never done anything close to similar before. Um, had a great time, you know, uh, being able to use basketball as a tool to reach out to children and people in other countries was just awesome to me and um, it was definitely an experience that uh, is going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Definitely. What lessons did you learn that you're, that you're going to bring back to ORU basketball? Is there anything that you know you grasped over there that you want to bring back? Yeah, there was a real strong uh, focus on uh, family when I was over there and just the way uh, the Brazilians kind of interact with each other and how much love and compassion they have for each other. That's something that I can bring back and apply to everyday life, but especially in this team situation, you know, we really need to be a family um, if we're going to be the best that we can be. Definitely. And getting back to last year, you were the number two point guard and um, you were the only one who had experience with running Coach Sutton's offense. How are you going to use that experience to help the new guys this year? Um, just in practice, definitely need to be vocal. Um, the guys that are just learning this stuff right now, you know, always be by their side, in their ear, give, give them encouragement, you know. Um, it's something that it's going to take a while for them to pick up, but, you know, if they have someone else beside the coaches, you know, encourage them, encouraging them, cheering them on, and just helping them out, I think it will be really beneficial for them. Which one of the newcomers has impressed you the most? Honestly, all the guys that we've brought in, uh, are going to impact this team, honestly. And uh, But one of the guys that has really kind of stood out to me is Corbin Byford. That dude is so athletic, and he's just a real good guy off the court too. So. And then um, going to the seniors, you know, Warren Niles and Damon Bellholter, uh, you know, how badly do you guys want to win this championship and make it to an NCAA tournament? Well, I've been here as long as those guys because of my red shirt year, so I know for all three of us, you know, being here four years, like, like that's what we're aiming for. And we've been so close on so many occasions now. Like it's something that we really know that has to be done before we get here. So it'll be, it'll take all of our effort this year. And, you know, going back to last year as well, you guys had such an incredible season and just you came up short for the Summit League um, tournament, but has that brought you any extra motivation? I know you guys won it badly, but just looking back at last year, how well you guys did, how much more motivated are you this year? I mean, anytime you have a season like that and it and it ends the way it did, it's it's a real big disappointment, and obviously it's our, it's fresh in our minds. So it's definitely an extra little boost this year to uh, just. You know, it's the kind of thing that's going to be in the back of your minds when you do get to conference tournament this year round because we don't want to be feeling like that come March. Mm -hmm. And then speaking about the Southland Conference, how is the new conference? Um, what challenges do you see that you're going to face um, coming up against new opponents? Have you uh, been preparing for any, any such things? We don't know that much about the conference right now so that's that's always an interesting experience when you're just kind of the newcomer and starting from scratch and stuff but we do know that um, it's a little bit uh, higher uh, faster paced than the Summit League was the guys are a little bit smaller a little bit more athletic so um, we have to be ready for that but honestly with the new guys that we've brought in and the, and the way we've been practicing I think I think we'll be well prepared for that. Good well thank you so much Mikey Mangum.